welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan Akison, and today, on this gloomy Monday, I'll be showing you a brand new 2021 Keystone Cougar 315. Now, let's get started by stating that dry, this thing weighs about 10,540 pounds. Below right here, tucked away, is a spare tire that is kept out of the elements in case one of the other tires goes bad. In your hitch here, you have a trail air hitch with, again, one inch rubber padding right there for helping you trail this thing smoothly down the highway. Coming around, around the first slide, behind this door, you have one of the two 30 pound propane tanks. The other one is located directly across from this on the other side. Here you have your spacious storage below the nose. Right to my left is where you'll find the control center for the four stabilizers, along with the wiring for all of your solar expansion apps that you can purchase with this unit. Under this, you got more storage. And here is the instruction for your stabilizers. Directly next to where you manage your water connection and your power. So you can battery disconnect right there. Your satellite TV is there. Hot and cold water for taking outside showers and the such. Right here you got your six gallon hot water heater. Coming around the second slide here, beneath you can find two of the aluminum 16 inch tires, two of the four that is, that sit under this unit. Here you have your fresh water connection port and way up top again, you have your drainage spouts to keep water off of your RV. Here's your ladder to get up top. Your 30, your 50 amp voltage, excuse me, along with a two inch, 3,000 pound hitch right here for connecting whatever is within that weight limit. For example, a bike racks, anything of that nature. Coming around the main stage, here are your two awnings, 11 and 13 feet long, with LED lights beneath, along with massive windows that will face your next adventure. Here are your four solid steps with wigs down low in case your campsite isn't necessarily level. You can adjust that to the perfect height so your door, your two, two, your double door can close and open. Let me grab this mahoosive handle right here as I climb up. The first thing I want to show you guys is the control center. Now right here, I want to show you guys my password. However, from right here, you can manage all your lights, your interior lights, outside lights, your water. Basically everything under the sun that runs this unit can be controlled from right here. And if you download an app, you can also do it from your phone. Above, you've got light switches for accent lights that can be found back here. And while we're up here, the interior design color of this unit is driftwood. For those of us that live on the North Shore, maybe not what we imagined, but that's what it's called. To my left here, you have your freestanding dinette, plenty of legroom beneath, four chairs, all with storage in the seat itself for hiding your People magazine or your books, anything of that nature. Again, this face is out towards your next adventure. You can see far and wide, right from where you eat. Next to that, you have your theater seats which face directly across from your 50 inch HGTV. These, these seats themselves have USB chargers included, vib vibrating seats, lights. However, they're not connected to power right now. To my right, you have your other living room couch that folds out into a trifold bed. And on either side, you can find the end tables with storage. Also out lets and USB ports. This couch also features two very cute windows for looking outside your campground and another one right here. Today we'll be looking at the highway but tomorrow we could be looking outside of at the campsite. Overhead storage above, more overhead storage here as well right in front of your entertainment system. This TV is actually on an arm so you can change it in case you want to watch from the kitchen the dinette more than the living room. Below you have your entertainment system that still has a CD player, miraculously, 
more storage, and your Titan Flame electric furnace. Definitely gonna be used during the colder months of the year. And if not then, you can at least turn the lights on for some ambiance. Big feature of the kitchen is this gigantic pantry. Fit plenty of goods in here. And you can adjust the shelves in case you need to fit more shelves or different size goods, whatever your liking is. Your center island right here features again, plenty of storage right here. Specifically, I can imagine you would put some garbage cans or recycling bins. And we already have more drawers over here set up even with cutlery um, organizations. You got a split sink right here, the removable faucet head for washing all those dishes. The dishes that should come from right over here. Microwave, three gas burner oven, top stove top, and your oven below. As I just demonstrated, hard top glass covering those gas burners, and even some USB ports and outlets right here for maybe plugging in a waffle maker on the side while you look out. Not the biggest window, but another window to the other side of your campsite. Moving forward, I'm gonna back up so you can get a better angle. Here's the 12 cubic foot fridge slash freezer. Up top, you'll find the control panel for that. Even with a display telling you what it's running off of, gas or electric, and what temperature you can find it at. Lastly in the kitchen, we have more overhead and below storage compartments and even more countertop space. So when you're done cooking that big meal for your family, you can systematically set it up where you load your plates here before you take them outside or take them to the dining room. Going up our two steps right here, will lead you directly to the bathroom. It has a marble looking composite in the shower along with a bench in there for shaving your legs. Directly behind it, you can find your linen closet if I can open it with more storage. Got your towel rack. And then there's plenty of buffer between the toilet and the sink. Again, massive mirror for doing all your hair and makeup and a medicine cabinet behind. Now to the private bedroom. As you can see right here to the right, you've got your dresser and TV set up in case you wanna put a TV in here your queen size bed with twin windows on either side. Nice little backdrop of what looks like aged gray wood or driftwood for that matter. You got your USB ports on the left and right side along with your outlets. On the right side, your USB port is hiding just a little bit in the closet on the nightstand right there. Again, more storage, that's your nightstand and your pretty spacious wardrobe closet right here and then the second part of the closet is right here more space and even a washer and dryer hookup in case you believe you need that in your unit best part about this room i believe is this window you wake up laying down facing this way the first thing you see if you keep the blind open is the view you face your camper towards Another nice aspect of the window is right below. Got a little bit of a step up, so when you're getting ready in the morning, you're gonna put your shoes on right here and not have to bend all the way down. Also have a sunroof directly above your bed, but again, it blocks out the sun enough that you're good. Point out some of the AC units. Main one is back there that diverts all the way over. Some of the safety features, you got your carbon monoxide right here. It's just one of them. And you got your fire extinguisher right in the doorway. So in case a fire outside at the grill gets a little bit too out of hand, easy access to that fire extinguisher. Walking out, here's just the other side of that storage compartment. Best thing about this is you have a low entry point compared to the other side you had that little cabinet that little drawer right there and it's for plugging in your tv satellite 
outlet right there. So again, you can watch the Twins game at your next campground outside. Here's that other propane tank in case you didn't believe me. Again, my name is Tristan Akison. I just showed you the new 2021 Keystone Cougar 315 RL. If you have any questions about this unit or any other units on our lot, please call me at 507-923-5675 or visit me at Bullion today.